Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything. I'm coming at you with another Wargaming and Miniature video. In this video, we're going to go ahead and review the Warlord Games Black Powder Continental Army Infantry Regiment box. It says it has 30 hard plastic, 28 millimeter Continental Army Infantry. And these guys have the white facings on the cover, the art. All right, so let's take a look at the back. Shows a completed unit. Shows a guy with a tomahawk. Uh, that's this guy. Shows a guy reloading. It's got guys firing. It's got uh, standard bearers. Okay, let's open it up. It looks like it's going to contain flags as well. So let's open this up and see exactly what we get inside. Well, let's take a look at what we got. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is slide out the paper. There we go. Continental Army Infantry Regiment. It's got Washington's Guard. Looks like they've got the Tarleton helmets on. And then... We got some flags. Let's put that out of the way. We got the Betsy Ross. Got the Grand Union. I'm gonna have to use a couple of these because I think these were still in use at Princeton. And then um, I just watched a video where this flag was on display, this flag was on display, and this flag was on display. Uh, so I. I I believe that these flags are legit flags. I'm going to use these for my uh, militia units. Okay, and it tells you what each part is. It says parts Y are attached to the shoulders, you know, and then from 1780 onwards, you know, and then Z or gorgets and parts A, you know, and then it shows who's parts, I guess this guy is parts A. Are there A's everywhere else? Hold on, yeah, there's A's down here. Maybe, okay, here we go. Parts A, parts G, D, and B. Okay, so they're kinda, it doesn't exactly show you how to do it, but it kinda gives you the, ooh, a Pfeiffer and a drummer. So far, I'm liking it. Yeah, this is this is going to be great. These are all like mass troops, it looks like. Maybe mass or... Yeah, probably mass. With the blue and the red. The common continentals. Okay, let's look at the figures. Because really, that's what everybody's wanting to see. That's what I'm wanting to see. Uh, pull the figures out and get the box out of the way. It has a single... Two bases. There's two bases that Morella S packed for me. It says she packed these two bases. And they came from War Games Factory. Okay. Maybe because. Okay. This isn't enough bases. So you got 6, 12, 24. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. And if there's 30, that's why they added two more bases. That's weird. I'm not planning on I'm not planning on mounting them on single bases. Uh, if I was doing skirmishers, that would be great. Um, but I'm not doing that. Okay. These are not, these are all exactly the same sprue. No, they are not all exactly the same sprue. Okay. These two sprues are the same. Okay, so I'll just put one off to the side. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Okay, because they don't have bases. They need to be glued on to something. Okay. Well, I'm going to be gluing these directly to my wood bases then. Which also means I'm not going to have to putty these guys. Oh my gosh. 
But the problem with that is I'm going to mix them in with some other figures, probably. Okay. Well, these guys are going to be standing directly on the maneuver base. Okay, you got the tricorn, bicorn, tricorn. You got some light infantry helmets. You got some slouch hats, round hats. You got the uh, Tarleton style helmet. Oh, quite a bit of them. For Washington's Guard. Uh, there are 12 figures here. But not 12 helmets, right? So what that's telling me is I'm not going to be able to make what have we got? Six, seven, eight, and then eight more is 16, and then two more, three more is 19. I only have 19 of those helmets. Nope, 20. Okay, but all my regiments that I do is 16. I make 16 man regiments, so I don't have a problem with that. But I can make a regiment of these guys and then a regiment of those guys, and I'd have to add a figure here and there, maybe from the, maybe from my militia line, just to make it look not so n neat and tidy. Okay, but let's get back here. The rifles, or I call them rifles, but really nowadays they're muskets. They seem very thin and flimsy, and the bayonets seem awful giant. Yeah, that's going to, I'm afraid those might snap or break, but there's the tomahawks right there. You got a fist, but I guess you could just glue a tomahawk onto him. Guys holding... Rifles or something, muskets, I don't see any like loose, oh I do, there's loose muskets right there. Okay. Wow, the hats are in two pieces. That's weird. You got the front of the hat. And then you got the back of the hat that you have to glue into that piece. That is strange, in my opinion. Okay. But the detailing, the detailing on these straps look great. I love those straps, bags, canteens. This is, these are going to be a breeze to paint. Man, that's going to be awesome. So I'm giving this, uh, right now, I'm giving the painting a thumbs up. Paintability, I should say. The paintability. And the assembly looks like it's not going to be too hard either. There's a drummer drumstick, probably. Okay. Or maybe that's just... Yeah, it looks like a drumstick. Okay. Why would I have a drummer on the non-command stand? Okay, so we got a standard bearer, and we have a sergeant with his pike. We have a drummer, and we have a fifer. There's his other drum. Yeah, there's those are the two drumsticks. I don't know what that was then. Uh, pistols. And then you got these swords, straight or curved. And two halves of the drum, of course. So you only get one drummer, and you only get one standard bearer. So this really can only be used to make one regiment. Um, but my regiments aren't 30 figures. So I might just need another command sprue like this. To make two 16 figure regiments uh, but I don't know I've got other figures that I'm going to mix in from Old Glory all right so having seen that my takeaway is the models look great 
there's only one drummer, one fifer, and one standard bearer, which is great for one regiment. But when you, if you wanted to make more than one regiment out of that, you can't. You need you need additional parts, like another standard bearer, another leader, another drummer, uh, and you you can get that by just ordering. If I wanted to, I could order just one command sprue and think they they charge eight bucks for one command sprue. All right, guys. Well, thanks for coming out and checking out that review of the Continental Army, and uh, expect to see these in my Princeton project. So I'm I'm building up enough models to do the Battle of Princeton. All right, I'll see you then.